Hey guys, it's Paige of Very Paige. We are back again, this time making a fur coat. Uh, fun fact about this project is I sourced all of the fabric secondhand from my creative uh, reuse center and the pattern was free. So this whole project cost me maybe $10, which is awesome. Uh, but you'll also have to excuse my pajama attire for this, but you know, we do what we can when we can. <laughs> But I'm just gonna cut out the lining first. Um, pretty standard, easy. I have some new shears, which are amazing and super sharp. I could cut off a finger with these. Hopefully I won't, but we'll see. Uh, and I've been really enjoying using them, which is why I'm not using a rotary cutter. Also using a rotary cutter with faux fur uh, just never seems to work. I didn't have quite enough lining fabric to do the full length sleeve, but that's fine because my arms are like obscenely short. So I just kind of guesstimated and folded the pattern up at the hem and uh, you know, cut it from there. And for the faux fur cutout, I found that it was easier to just trace the pattern with a Sharpie versus trying to uh, weigh the pattern down on the actual faux fur. You're gonna wanna make sure you're cutting everything with the nap going the same direction, which means, you know, when you are wearing it, all the fur lays the same way. So just be mindful of that. Faux fur also sheds like a mother effer, and so like I had to vacuum in between every cut and you'll see my dog go absolutely insane because he hates the vacuum cleaner. So uh, if you see him biting me, it's probably because I'm vacuuming, but you're gonna wanna try to get all of that loose fur off because you definitely don't want it falling off after you have sewn. So I kind of shook it out and kind of run my hands around the cut seams and tried to make the best of it and then, you know, vacuumed it. And there's my dog super mad about me vacuuming again. Honestly, this is the hardest part about working with faux fur is the cutting, the shedding, making sure you're cutting things, and the naps all going the correct direction. Once you kind of are mindful of that, it's really not that hard. Um, I find that using the hand back while I'm cutting is definitely the easiest way for me to make sure that the fur mess kind of stays under control. Also not saving any fur scraps, which is something I normally do with other fabrics. I save my scraps. Uh, nothing good will come of saving super shuddy fur scraps. So, you know, recycle them if you can. And if not, maybe, you know, somebody else can use them. But I just ended up tossing a decent amount of these. And vacuuming the floor because it was absolutely everywhere as well. So I'm gonna assemble my lining first. This is me sewing the shoulder seams together with the lining right sides together. Um, my lining kinda had the same face on both sides, so it wasn't super important to check what side it was and everything's kinda symmetrical. So as long as your sleeves and your shoulder seams are all going the right way, you should be good. Um, but I'm just sewing them together right here. I'm not finishing the seams at all on the inside because it's lined and I really don't have to. And if I don't have to do something, chances are I'm not going to do it while I sew. I know, that's a horrible thing to say. Maybe that's my New Year's resolution is to finish things all the way. I like installing sleeves um, in the flat and this pattern also recommended that. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, uh, this fabric is really slippery. I think it shifted a bit when I cut my sleeves. I haven't checked the pattern against the actual pattern pieces since I cut them out. So this could be a pattern issue, but it's a free pattern. So I'm gonna cut some slack. Um, I had a little bit more room on my sleeve head than fit into the sleeve cap. So I actually, you might see me trim some stuff off. It might've been my error. It might've been the pattern. I'm not sure. Either way, the sleeves were plenty roomy um, to fit. And uh, sorry, you guys had to see me pull up my pants, but we keep it real on this channel. I just sew what I would sew normally and bring you guys along. I try not to make this channel about YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe and give me a little grace on being in my pajamas all the time and not having a super styled photo shoot for all of my projects because I am just a normal human being. But after you do all that, you kind of just stitch it on. It's much easier in my experience to th sew things flat than versus sewing this in the round. Um, but that's just personal preference. I guess you can kind of sew it however you want. Although I assume that slow sewing a fur sleeve with the faux fur in a round is going to be much more challenging. So I would just sew it flat personally. It's also a great time to check your lining, see where you're at. So if I um, had made a muslin of my lining, which you know you probably should do, 
you will see that maybe I needed to add a little bit of length, but this is just probably gonna end up in my boudoir studio anyways for naked ladies to pose with, so I'm not super concerned on it fitting me exactly. I would like to make a second version to, uh, you know, just have for my body, but right now this is kind of like my working muslin. So what you saw me do before was kind of wrong and you'll see me fix it here. I put the um, lining the wrong side out. You wanna make sure the lining and the outer jacket are right sides together when you put them together. And so what you'll see here is I'm pinning all the way around. And then basically what you're gonna do with your machine is you're gonna stitch from you know the neckline down the sides and down to the bottom. I like to leave um, the hemline open on the bottom when I am doing bagged linings. I know some people like to do a hole in the lining of the armpit, but that just seems silly to me. I don't mind hand tacking up the hem, so I just leave a big hole in the hem and it works out better for me in the long run. So yeah, you don't have to be super exact with this. Uh, it's faux fur, so it's going to hide like a lot of your sins and uh, just take your time. And I like to, you know, stop the stitch and then leave that hole and then start again so that I don't actually have to remove it from the sewing machine. You'll see later when I pulled out. So I'm stopping it right here. I, I did the whole back panel. You could probably get away with a lot less space than that. Um, I ended up having to pull it out, which is funny, but, and then I started it again on the other side of the back panel and then I just stopped it. The sleeves are a little bit trickier. Um, this is kind of where people get confused in the linings. You are going to do what I'm doing here. You're like creating a cuff with the lining and you're pinning it so that the right sides are touching, but you have space to kind of fit your sewing machine in to stitch the sleeve together. And hopefully you can see this as I sew because it's kind of a hard thing to explain. Um, if you look here, you know, the right sides are touching and I'm kind of just finagling everything around and it creates kind of this loop with the lining of the arm and the first sleeve. And then it doesn't make sense on how you turn out the loop until you actually have to do it. So watch me do it here. Everything just kind of writes itself out. It doesn't seem like it would work, but it does. And so there you see that big hole and that's basically the only thing I have left to finish. Um, I'm using wonder clips because pins would be hard to find here and we all know that my dog likes to eat sewing pins and have seven thousand dollar surgeries so uh we are you know not as generous with the pins as some people might be and i'm basically just whip stitching it together you'll see that the faux fur is kind of stuck in where it's sewed it almost looks like you combed it into the seam at the very end here i'm gonna go ahead and pull out all that fur with my hands and it makes a big difference you're obviously not going to press this because polyester fur would absolutely melt at the slightest bit of heat so please for the love of god do not press this but i'm just hemming up that big hole like i said i like hand hemming things and you guys know that so this wasn't a huge deal for me to hem this also it's such an easy project really to begin with that a little bit of hand hemming never killed anybody so you see i'm kind of pulling it out of the seams uh, the more you wear it the more you'll see stuff and there there it is it's finished i have no closures on it it's just a fun easy practically free sew that i would recommend anybody do uh but yeah that's it that's my first sewing project after this long break from youtube uh, I hope to see some more of you guys. I'm going to shoot to post twice a month, but we'll see if that happens. Hope everybody had a wonderful holiday and I will see you soon. Until then, keep stitching.